Okay, so I got some new tires for the 757Z track. Uh, technically, I guess wheels and tires, but probably something that uh, a lot of you have never seen. I uh, picked up a set of these Michelin uh, tweels that John Deere is putting on the new, uh, I believe, Z900 series. Uh, they replaced the tw uh, the 24 12 12 air tire. Uh, you can see these are airless tires. Uh, I've done a bunch of measurements. I think they're going to fit this older machine. Like I said, they come on the new ones now. They're an option. And uh, like I said, they're a Michelin tire. John Deere's claiming uh, three times getting three times the the wear out of these than a normal tire. Um, I've, I've not worn these out but the problem with these is if you guys remember back my first start of the year uh, both tires were flat and I got a plug in one of them and I'm, I'm having to air them up every once in a while to keep them full of air. I mean they're 15 years old so they're they're you know they're on their way out I think I would like to air them down to get a better ride but I can't do that because they're leaking air and if I start at eight nine psi you know I won't have nothing in them before long so and uh, it, it looks to me like about two hundred dollars for a new set of uh, twenty four twelve twelve tires so I figure I mean this is a lot more than two hundred dollars but you know, they'll, I'll run these on this mower. If this mower lasts me another 15 years, then uh, these, these tires will be on here. So I think it's a good investment. Uh, also, they say you get a better ride with these things. It's just to give a little more. I'm going to, you know, let you guys know what I think after I run them for a little bit. But uh, pretty interested to get them on there. Uh, like I said, I measured. I think I said anyway. I did a bunch of measuring uh, lug pattern and and wheel hole the wheel and size of the wheel and everything. I think these are just going to bolt on. They are not. John Deere really didn't know. Uh, I feel like I got enough room everywhere that I should be able to clear this tire. But it is replacing a 24 12 12. This is a 24-12-12, so I guess enough talking, let's see if it'll bolt on. Get a shot of these side by side. They actually look like they're a little taller. If you can see that. Um, I think what happens is, is they, they it gives more than this tire. So I don't think you're getting any more height out of this. I'll have to measure my deck, make sure everything is uh, still level. But I don't think that, uh, I know it looks bigger, but I don't really don't think they are, so. Let's see if she'll bolt on. Well, a bit of an issue here. One I was not expecting, I did all kinds of measurements, but uh, the inside of the wheel is hitting this brake. This is the parking brake band that goes. And what's happening is, it's hitting, I think, this curved area here. I guess you can see there's a much bigger opening on the factory one. So, how am I going to work around that? Um, let me figure it out, guys. Okay, so that's as far as I can get it to go on. And I'm going to end up needing a spacer or something here. 
hopefully there's enough light here. You can see you know, I'm going to need a spacer of some sort to be able to run these. Um, I'll have to figure out, see maybe if they have something or I got to make something. Okay, so here's what I've come up with to try to get these wheels on this older John Deere. Uh, I've got some some spacers here, aluminum spacers off eBay and these are 4x4 four four or 4x4 four four to 4x4 four four adapters. Now what that means 4x4 four four or 4x4, four four, what that means is the, the lug pattern on here is four lugs and then they are four inches from the center of this stud to the center of the opposite stud. That's four inches. So this is four on four bolt pattern. And this is a four on four to a four on four adapter. Now you can get these where they're different uh, lug patterns. You know, I don't know why you would do that. I guess to bolt on different types of wheels because uh, four wheelers and UTVs and everything, a lot of them have four lugs and they're different. They're different uh, patterns. Um, I know four by four, this is a, met or a standard deal, but a lot of times they do that in metrics, so they'll have that in uh, millimeters. I think four on 110, I believe, is the. Polaris lug pattern, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, there's different ones. This is four on four. Uh, this is a one inch spacer, and I guess this is for um, this is really for a golf cart. I didn't know golf carts had the same bolt pattern as as mowers, but I guess they do. So that's what I found online. Now, issue I'm having here is the center bore here. Or the center hole. Now you can see there's a deal on the hub and this is actually where the rim kind of sits on. I don't know if it completely sits on there or not but the rim does kind of go over that. Now on these spacers here you can see there is kind of a chamfer on there. Kind of an angle cut but it's not enough. It's not enough to allow me to install these over that. So basically when I install these, they're not going all the way back because of that deal in the center. Now this would actually be an easy modification. On a lathe or a mill, all you have to do is go in here and mill or lathe that out so it fits over that. Um, our lathe is down right now, so that's going to be a problem uh, getting that done right now. Me and Dad, we're going to try to see if we can't fix our lathe tonight, see if we can't get that done. But something's going to have to happen here. It's going to have to be milled out or lathed out to allow this thing to actually lay flat on the face of the hub here. So when I figure that out, I'll uh, show you that, and hopefully we'll be getting these tweels bolted on soon. So you can see I got the adapter bolted on. I got uh, our lathe fixed. We were able to do that, Dad. Um, you can see there's a, a groove on the inside. 
that allows for that uh, the deal on the hub so this can lay flat against the surface so I got that on uh, torque in the manual says 75 foot-pounds for these you want to make sure these are, are torqued when you're running spacers I'm using that that's about rated for about 75 so I'm maxing that out really uh, another thing if you're running spacers and you you're gonna make sure that your studs do not stick out past the surface of your spacer you're gonna have to trim them down or grind them down or something if they stick out past your your spacer um, if they stick out your your wheels are never gonna get tight and they're gonna eventually fall off so that can cause major problems I think a lot of people make that mistake but these original studs cannot come past the surface or the the face of this so um, another thing to note here is th these are metric and these are standard the 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 adapter only came in standard as half inch and this is I don't know what it is but a 19 millimeter um, takes the nut off and actually a 19 millimeter works for these standard half inch nuts too so you can use the same socket the 19 millimeter works for both standard and whatever that metric is so now moment of truth I'm pretty sure everything's gonna work out here we're gonna get the uh, twill mounted up and uh, hopefully everything's gonna work out here okay so they're bolted on there torqued down um, I can rotate them here I don't hear anything rubbing anywhere so we're gonna let it down off the jack now make sure everything's clear and uh, everything's clearing on the inside uh, the only place that is kinda close is right here now that I move this out an inch um, it's it's kind of close right there so and let it down I don't think the tires gonna deflect that much but uh, we'll let her down see what happens so there it is on the ground you can see the tire has uh, kind of squished down a little bit but I think the machine is sitting higher with the tweels than it was with the original Tire. so I'm probably gonna have to measure the deck make sure the deck is not way out of whack maybe um, maybe it's not I don't know I can't really tell I can't really tell from here if it's, it is or not but I get the other one on and I'll get to the uh, flat cement I'll do some measurements make sure that we haven't thrown this uh, deck way out of whack uh, I'm pretty sure there's adjustment on the deck there to adjust this if it is so first look of the twill on the 757 looks awesome so this side's on pretty much the same as the other side um, it is a little closer here it's actually pretty tight right there but it still clears so I'm not worried about it. The other side's got a lot more room. Deck must be offset the one way or something. But everything else clears on the inside and everything else so I am uh, pretty happy with this. So I'm going to take care of my tools here and we're going to go do a test drive. So I got it here on the pad and I just finished leveling the deck uh, as much as I can get it right now. Um, it was a lot higher in the back than in the front. 
Uh, I guess, according to John Deere, uh, the rear is supposed to be up a little higher than the than the front, but not a whole lot. They call that rake, I guess. So I've got it as close as I'm going to get. It. I'm, I'm off like a couple sixteenths, but it's as good as I'm going to get it right now. I think that's close enough. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, it for the adjustments, I guess. I'm going to do a little bit of mowing. I can already feel just driving over here and driving over uh, a few of the cement things and stuff and the blocks. That it's, it's a lot smoother ride. So I'm going to get some time on this and uh, I'll let you know what I think. We're about John Wayne, Johnny Cash, and John Deere. Way out here.